it's Delo here from my belly. And welcome to a new video. This is kind of more of a news update video. I did actually have a different video planned today, but I know from your comments, you often appreciate it when I do cover a bit of Sims news and what's the latest goss, the 411. Basically, there's been a free update for all PC players. I don't know about console. Rip console players, I'm so sorry. The PC players, there is a free update that is celebrating the Lunar New Year. So happy Lunar New Year to you guys, uh, celebrating Chinese New Year. And we've got new creator sim items, new build and buy items. We have a couple of new recipes as well, which is kind of exciting. And also like all patches, they fix a few issues that might've arisen in the game. But we're gonna go through all of that good stuff. I will just mention to you guys that I am not very well educated when it comes to Lunar New Year. Chinese New Year. So I'm going to be relying on your comments to kind of give us a little bit more information why some of these items might be in this update because I don't know a whole lot about it. So I'm really sorry to you guys who do celebrate it. I wish I I wish I knew more. So hopefully I can learn from you. All right. So first up, uh, we have a few creator sim pieces. For male adults, we have this new jacket. It, it's pretty cool, actually. It's kind of kind of trendy, I reckon. <laughs> but obviously it's got like a Chinese uh, dragon on some of the shirts. It comes in a few different uh, colorways. I love the forest green personally with the red under there. Very nice. Um, but we also have a few plain additions too. So you can see that. So that's what we got for male adults. And just so you know, this hair isn't new in this free update. This is custom content by Qwerty. Qwerty? Qwerty. Uh, so if you guys want to download that hair, I, this is one of my favorite hairs at the moment. So I figured I would tell you guys. And I might try and explain where a few of the other items are from because I often get comments about that. So these are from Get to Work. These shoes are from Get Famous. For your female Sims, we actually have two new dresses and some accessories. So this dress is really really cute uh kind of it, it is very traditional looking but at the same time some of the different and varying designs make it kind of experimental which i really love so there's some beautiful colors i love this deep red color but my favorite is probably when we start getting to all of the floral patterns like this i think is so beautiful i love this design on there i just i love this I love it, I love it, I love it. Whoever's done the colorways and some of the illustrations for this, you know, free addition to our games, it's it's really nicely done. So I was like, oh, I love this. Uh, this is probably my favorite colorway, the kind of soft pink and mauve and purples. Super cute. And then if we go in, we got these new fan earrings, which when I saw these, I was probably most excited about these, <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. Right now in Melbourne, Australia, or in Australia, probably for the last six months actually, there's been a bit of a trend of fan earrings. Like I just see them everywhere. I mean, I like to call it basic bish fashion, not because I think of myself as a fashionista, but basically something that's trending like in all the stores and everyone just suddenly starts wearing them. So fan earrings have been very big here for a little while. Um, more so with tassels though, but still this kind of a thing. So I was excited to see this. I think they look really, really pretty. Uh, different colors, lots of colorways, including gold, rose gold, and silver. So that's quite a nice surprise. I am going to put some lipstick on you just because I feel like it. <laughs> uh, this hairdo is custom content by Wanda Carlotta. Wanda Carlotta? I don't know. I just thought it was cool. And these shoes are from City Living, just in case you were wondering. In terms of the other free dress we're getting, this is the other option. This one's a little less traditional looking. It's probably a little bit more versatile and it's so pretty. It reminds me of like an ice skating outfit because it's got that sheer top to it with the embroidery that kind of crosses into the more solid looking fabric. And I just think it's very, very pretty. Love it in the black and red. There's also this jade necklace uh, that is jade stone for all of the colorways. However, there's like the black option for the chain. There's the rose gold, gold and silver. This hair is from Cats and Dogs uh, and these shoes are from Backyard Stuff. Backyard Stuff, I think. I love these shoes, they're one of my favorite. And then uh, little Sheila here is donning our new children's dress. This dress is obviously very similar to the first adult dress. Is it almost exactly the same? No, it's quite different, <laughs> but it comes in some really lovely colorways as well. It's got some little bows on it, obviously. I think I like the blue the best, but you've got nice, simple red, white. Um, 
and sorry, I have some indigestion, uh, some embroidered flowers on it with a nice kind of lined texture. I love textures in the game. Ooh, this dusty rose pink is really pretty too. I'd like to see more blush colors in the game. So nice. Don't you think the colorways are, they've done such a nice job? Uh, these shoes are just base game. This hair is also custom content by SS. So maybe if you search SS custom content, Sims SS custom content, it might come up. I don't know, I'm sorry. I can't keep up with all the custom content and who it's by. I just, yeah, I don't know. If anyone has any suggestions how to keep up with it, let me know. Oh, also, also, I almost forgot to show you guys there is a necklace uh, for kids. Um, so there's this yin yang necklace and it comes in varying colors as well. So purples, greens, all of that good stuff. And then for this little guy, he's got a cool bomber jacket on. It's like a silk bomber jacket. I think it looks sick. I actually think this is pretty cool. I, I kind of want to wear this myself. Um, and it comes in gold, red, green again. I mean, we're seeing a repeat of this same color scheme, which makes total sense when they release multiple things at once to kind of unify them. The toddler outfit and this little dress is so cute. I think this is adorable and it kind of goes with the adult and the children's dress as well. So similar colorways, but look, it has little like rubber duckies on it. It is so cute. And um, yeah, of course the blue one as well. And you might notice that this hair, I believe is free in the update as well. So this hair is very cute. I mean, to me, it looks more traditional Chinese, uh, this hair for a toddler. However, you know, once you put it on different Sims or in different colors, it's really versatile as well. And it's for both boys and girls. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It would be so cute with a headband as well. So yeah, that is create a Sim. Let's jump into build and buy and have a look at those items. Yeah. I'm just gonna pop my headphones on because I feel like I can't go into live mode or build mode without them. It's really weird. I actually struggle to film <laughs> if I don't have headphones on. Uh, so yeah, you can see some of the kids and their outfits in the flesh. Oh my gosh, you are so gorgeous. <laughs> I want to take you out of the game into my real life. This house is by The Sim Supply. This is, I think, his split living home. Uh, I just downloaded it with no furnishing to show off the new furniture options. So we have quite a few things actually for a free update. We have this rounded dining table, which is actually really handy in this colorway because you can get the other colorways with a symbol in the middle. So this is, this is really, really lovely. But then we also have some some plain ones, a couple of them. So we have this one, I actually really love this, uh, and also the lighter color. So I know a few other creators and on the Sims live stream showing off these freebies, they uh, went for the more traditional looks of the table, but I just wanted to show you guys that it can be versatile too. And these are obviously some matching chairs. Oh, that's quite cool. Love the gold, uh, gold accents on there. And you know what? You can even change it up. You can go for a few mismatched chairs. Love that. This rug is just sized up from base game. Over here, this is, what is this? The Fiery Moon Gift Centerpiece. And this is really handy because the descriptions actually educate you a little bit. A new year brings the promise of new beginnings and wishes of good luck and fortune. Such hope is contained in these boxes with citrus and simoleons inside red envelopes. So, you know, you can learn a little bit and obviously it comes in a few different colorways. I'm gonna change this up a little bit so uh, we can see a few other options. This table's pretty sick. We also have these decals. I don't know what this is. What does this mean? Symbols of the watery moon. The moon is known to be a trickster, always changing its visage, but sometimes it has its moments. Take a short break from new lunar year celebration. The pig looked out one of the grand hall windows and spied the moon sinking towards the tree lined horizon. Usually the moon spirit beamed one of its visages down to her, but that night it gave way to her face. That night she stared up to see her own likeness and knew everything was going to be okay. Oh, that's nice. We also have some lanterns here, a few more decals. It looks like this is a new year decal. Kind of cool and a few symbols and whatnot. This is so cool. I love these. These are like my everything at the moment. I just think they're so cute. I've seen a few people doing builds with them. I actually saw someone in Create a Pet making 
a dog or a cat look like the pig because it is the year of the pig and they're just so funky they just i love them <laughs> so let's have a look at in into this statue whoa this is quite a big description every new lunar year the countryside animals celebrate in a grand hall decorated with symbolic seasies and paper lanterns this year the new year arrived without the honored animal Ooh. The pig arrived near the party's end and sat at a table in quiet embarrassment noticed by the goat. With all red envelopes gifted and food eaten, the goat plucked a kumquat from a potted citrus tree and offered half to the pig. She accepted with relief and explained she could not find anyone to care for her piglets until friendly crows returned to her farm. With the goat's understanding and help with introductions, the pig's embarrassment melted away to happiness during the remaining festivities. That's pretty awesome. So also the kid is playing with this enormous like panda thing. And <laughs> basically this is a new toy. I sized it up so we could look at it a little bit more easily, but it's actually this little size on the floor. So she looks like she's kind of about to knock herself out. <laughs> But yeah, there's, there's some cute like kids toys. There's a couple of more items over here. This is the Prosperous Moon. Okay, actually, I'm not going to read all of this out, but you guys can learn more about it uh, from reading through that. And also we have these envelopes, which I know are a big deal. And you're meant to put money, I think, inside of them. Children running off to open these envelopes filled with happiness, luck and wealth luck and wealth is a humorous and joyful sight. But as an adult, take a moment to appreciate the give as well wishes for you and your fortune. Oh, sorry, and your future year. <laughs> Only then enjoy the gift, especially if the contents inside are of a six spirit bag with wind, fire and all that kind of thing. Oh, I wish I, my family did more traditions like this. It sounds so cool. And they come in a few different designs. So there is a lucky citrus tree of the moon. This plant is granted for the new lunar year, a wonder of a new lunar year. This tree has been known to sprout different citrus fruit, including oranges, kumquats, and tangerines. On special occasions, red envelopes may appear as if expressing a wish of safety and good energy to the household. So this is really, really lovely. I thought this tradition was quite interesting as well um, but it's a really nice tree and it does come with obviously the envelopes on it but it's also available in plain swatches as well so when your sims aren't celebrating the new year you can also have the more plainer versions which is pretty cool now I'm just going to grab a kitchen here I'm just gonna buy a room because there's also a couple of new dishes for us to try out so if we go to cook something we can actually now cook some dumplings and you only need level one cooking skill to do that. So we can get our sim here, our fin to cook those up. And then the other thing we have is mud carp, which requires level seven cooking skill. Let's just see if we can see it. No, we can't. So yeah, if your sim's a little bit more skilled at the old cooking, you can cook more than dumplings, but it's nice to have a couple of new recipes. And I think both of them are vegetarian safe. So if your sim's a vegetarian, they'll happily eat it. I didn't know you cooked dumplings in the oven. I thought they were in a fry pan. I mean, I guess you can cook them in all different ways because you can steam them. <gasps> oh, they look so cute when they come out. Oh, and look at that. We got some new dumplings. Oh man, I really feel like dumplings now. That is the new update. I hope that is helpful for you guys. I just want to check if it's available on console as well. I did just check if this is available on console, the update, and I don't know if I'm special or what, but I can't find out if it is. So I will try and list it in the description down below if I do find out. Otherwise in the future, I will try harder and keep my eyes peeled for whether or not these updates are for both PC and console or one or the other. I'm wishing you guys a happy new lunar year or lunar new year, new lunar year. I don't know how to say it, but I wish you a happy one and a good one. And thank you guys so much for all of your comments, your love and uh, everything you do. You guys mean the world to me. So happy Lunar New Year to you. I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I can't wait to speak to you soon. Zuzu.